Look at the size of that tail. This is one of the most venomous scorpions in the world. Slowly. Ow! My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. In this episode, I'm wrecking a new location and habitat. I'm heading to these ancient foothills deep in the Namib. Woo! Look at this as a location. Absolutely jaw-droppingly stunning. These mountains just surrounded by this dry riverbed. This is a perfect place to start a search for animals that live in the rocky outcrop habitat. I've arrived in time to set up camp and take a first look around before dark. This is a spot, this is a perfect place to find snakes in the cracks of these rocks. And there's just so many hiding places. And as the sun's coming down now, it's a good time to start just looking out where I might search at night because it's a bit disorientating when you start at pitch black. Getting a feel for the surroundings at a new location is key. We can plot a general route for the nighttime, but also reptiles at this time often find themselves under a rock that's been directly in the sun during the day. They are keeping warm before nightfall, which gets chilly quickly here. And we're in luck. Snake! Wow! Just hiding beneath this rock. Look at that. That is a killed snake. This one is really quite rare. You can see those pupils very vertical. They would widen out. That allows them at night to be able to see quite well. And using that fork time, very good sense of smell in order to track down mammals and also lizards. But the night is beginning to start and that's when the animals are going to start moving. Let's see who else is out and about. Let's put this one back and happy hunting to you. As the sun went down, I continue my recce around the base of this foothill. I found some natural paths and some perfect hidey holes. It's going to be an exciting night. Night has begun. I'm hoping to find some scorpions, snakes, perhaps even some predators that are lurking around. Come on, let's go. A little beetle on the prowl. Perfect food for scorpions. Scorpion would munch that up. Good luck to you, mate. On a recce like this, I love to know every animal we come across. Over time, building more of a picture of a biodiversity making their home in the area. Oh, gecko. You've actually lost your tail. Oh, he's cute. Oh, look at his little mouth. He's a bit cheeky. He wants to have a little bite. Get oh! Yep, that's, a that's quite a bit of bite for us for a tiny little gecko. Oh! Actually, ow! You're really hurting me, mate. Let, let go! They've got little teeth and they use them to bite through insects that are coming along. So you'll be eating beetles, moths, little crickets. Come on, let go now. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Ah, cheeky one. Okay, good luck, mate. Happy hunting. Look at that. That's a bit of a beast, isn't it? An absolute whopper. Oh. 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 <laughs> there you go. And this is one of the sounds of the night. Generally speaking, they make their calls when they feel that there's nobody else around, but when there's somebody near, you don't want to give away their presence, obviously. I'm right next to you, so he's not making that sound. And they make it by stridulation, so basically they just rub their back legs together, and that's how they make the sound of the night. Oh! Interestingly, that desert locust is also the same kind that are known to travel massive distances and gather in swarms. A huge problem for agricultural regions. Woo! Yes, our first snake of the evening. This is a, it's a little bit venomous, but not deadly venomous. It's a tiger snake. I'm going to pick you up gently. Don't, definitely don't want to get bitten by him. Look at the way the snake is just moving up. Very strong 
in terms of its ability to just go from one place to another, just from the end of its tail. Look at this, I hold the end of the tail. Look, he can get back above his own body very easily. And that allows him to get across in this rocky outcrops with ease. Nocturnal animals don't tend to be very fast, pacey animals. A lot of diurnal snakes, the snakes that come out during the day, they zip around, the black mamba, the sand snakes. Very, very quick moving snakes. At night, the snakes tend to move a lot slower and they're using their other senses in order to catch their prey. They tend to use their forked tongue in order to catch the scent of a particular animal or they sit in ambush waiting for their prey to come to them. I kind of love this snake, actually. So gentle. Not a single bit of wanting to bite. N not defensive at all. It's going through my hands gently. Still flicking that tongue in and out really, really fast and sensing that environment, that air. Love it. I love finding snakes at night. There's another new species, tiger snake. I'm gonna let this one go and see who else might be out and about. Well, good luck, happy hunting. And before night was over, here comes what I've been hoping for. Woo! Okay, look at this. Scorpion. That's a big one as well. That is a big, thick-tailed scorpion out on the prowl. Look at the size of that tail. I don't want you to get in off into the cracks. I've just got my tweezers. Be seriously careful. Because this is one of the most venomous scorpions in the world. Honestly, one drop of this venom could kill you. Absolutely. It's kind of a neurotoxic venom. Okay, I want to put you on, on there. Just slowly. Just relax. Oh! They also squirt their venom. That is a defense mechanism against any attacker that might come along squirt that venom, just like some snakes might do. Very, very few scorpions can do that, but the power of that squirt from that huge tail, that's really, really scary. Come back. The way he's going up that rock is absolutely amazing. You can see how they're well adapted for living out here on these rocky outcrops. You can basically just scale this habitat with absolute pure ease. And what he's doing, he's actually probably looking for those gecko, the gecko I saw earlier. Come back here, because we don't want to lose you. Put you down here. If you see a scorpion with much bigger stinger compared to its pincers, it shows it's extremely venomous. And the reason being is that he doesn't actually use those pincers in order to kill his prey. He's using that venom. So all the power is in the venom. But if you see a scorpion with big pincers, it means he's not very venomous. We'll actually be using those pincers to kill its prey and it doesn't use its venom. This scorpion really is almost like the king of this at rocky outcrop. Pretty much could eat anything. Could eat snakes, other scorpions, beetles, geckos, small mammals. Really, it is, you wouldn't want to take this one on. If you remember um, when I showed you in, in Malaysia that they glow in the dark, well, shall we test to see if this scorpion also glows in the dark? Okay, so three, two, one, go. Woo, look at that, amazing. Thick tail scorpion glowing in the dark. Wow, they are just remarkable. They are quite creepy looking creatures, but the more I get to know scorpions, it's actually that they are just gentle giants. I can turn the normal lights back on. Well, that's fantastic. It's a great first look at the thick tail scorpion. These do get a lot bigger. So whilst I'm out here in Southern Africa, I really want to show you one of the biggest, the absolute beasts of the thick tail scorpion. So we're gonna let this one go. Sorry for bothering you. Happy hunting. Thick tailed scorpion, yes. I hope you've enjoyed watching all of the animals featured in this recce.